Okay. Well, this is part six. My battery died. So, I want to show you something before we go on. I want to show you how to change a decimal into a fraction. Okay? I've already done it. I wasn't aware that my my uh, camera had stopped. So, what I'm going to do is show you this really quick. 1.937. Putting that into the calculator. Now we already know one is one foot. We already know that. But what is 0.937 in inches? To do that, you just get rid of the one, minus one. So now you just got the 0.937. How do you change this into inches? Very easily. You just multiply it by 12, because it's 12 inches in a foot. So you go times 12. equals and so that means it's we already got rid of the one so we know it's one foot 11 and then it says 0.24 that's basically a quarter so it's 11 one foot 11 and a quarter now I want to show you this on a tape measure too just to show you that it's right one foot 11 and one quarter no one foot 11 and one quarter so it's 23 and a quarter and that's what I have 23 and a quarter there so that's how you change decimals into fractions all right now that we have we got all that uh, cleared away we know what our half span is minus the ridge which is an inch and a half. Okay? And our half span is 1.937 or 1 foot 11 and 1 fourth or if you want to do it in inches, 23.25 inches from the outside of the building line to here. As a matter of fact, I want to show you how this looks. If you're looking at the side of the, the building, and this is the building line right here, okay? This is the outside of the sheeting, all right? And you see the, the, the ridge here, which is an inch and a half. Our measurements are going from here to here, not to the center mark. The center mark represents the center of the, the ridge, okay? This represents, so from here to here, it's the same thing as from here to here is going up to the ridge all right uh, you need to really get a good idea so when you're uh, when you are figuring out your spans and everything like that and on a hip for for your for your your hips it, it doesn't matter if it's a a even or uneven hip it's, it's going to be the same thing because your the edge of your your building is going to be 90 degrees, okay? And it's just going to be 90 degrees broken up into two different sections. Either it's going to be a 30, it's going to, well, anyway, either, either, either it's going to be a, a 60-30 split, it's going to be two kind of split, but whatever the splits are, it's going to have to equal 90 degrees, okay? So... Uh, now that we got that, now I want to show you how I do this. Like, like if, if I'm looking at blueprints, for instance, if I'm looking at blueprints and I see a measurement, a total span, and, and that's one thing I didn't do up here. This is basically four feet, y'all. But we're going to write this out into fractions, exact fractions. So let's do this. We know this is 47 inches, but what is 0.988 inches? Is, and we're gonna go 16. What is 0 0.988? 0 0.988 inches, what is it? You just multiply it by 16 times 16 equals. So it's 15 sixteenths, you can say, 
Yeah. I mean, like I said, y'all, it's basic. There are 16 sixteenths in an inch. All right. So, like I said, this is pretty much 48 inches. So, let's just go with 48 inches. Let's just go with 48. 48. This is the total span. Or we're going to go four feet. Okay. Okay. Four feet. I like to change it. I like to work with inches when I'm doing this. So if it's 48 inches, I mean four feet, I like to change it into 48 inches. So 48 inches. Okay. Minus. I'm going to write down exactly what it has. 47.98 inches. Eight. We go, now we're going to subtract the ridge width, which is an inch and a half, minus 1.5 equals. Okay. Now we're going to take this and divide it into two because you're going to have rafters on this side and rafters on this side. Divided by two equals 23 and a quarter. You see that? 23 and a quarter. So that means this is right. So. That's how I do it when I'm figuring out, you know, real quick on the fly uh, what the half span is, you know, so I can get the guys to start building the scaffold and, and all that kind of stuff, legging up everything and all that while I'm cutting the rafters. OK, I guess I showed you enough of that. Now, the key thing about this, this graph here is that I'm showing you that I'm measuring not from the center all of these measurements right here I want to show you this line represents this line right here represents the side of the King Common and it goes all the way up to the tip this line represents the center of the hip or valley and it goes all the way up to here and this line here represents this king common on the 712 side and it goes all the way up to here this is a fail proof way of making sure that everything is nice and tight and level okay so I, I needed to show you that now that I have shown you that and we got that all out the way the next thing that I need to show you is another little uh, secret that I have so to speak now I'm going to show you this I guess I'm going to jump into this right here and then we're going to do a blow up version of this I'm just going to take my time and we're going to do a blow up version of this now you notice that we're not doing any cutting wood and nothing like that because I noticed that a lot of times that I think the way the easiest way for me to learn was with diagrams you see uh i did have experience with uh construction so i knew i had an idea what was going on on the job site but i think this is one of the key things a lot of times people carpenters don't have enough time to just sit down and have a like a classroom session like i'm having right now and and be able to reveal a lot of these concepts to you so now this dotted line right here okay represents an inside corner this this line this dotted line 90 degree dotted line it represents the subfascia the outside of the subfascia I'm gonna just put sub there this inside 90 degree line it represents the building line building line I'm just gonna put BL for building line now when you have an outside corner this hip is going to be a valley it's not going to be a hip because it's on the inside corner it's going to be a valley the reason why this what I'm showing you is very important here because right here you're able to dis you're able to know 
exactly where, how far to measure up for your valley to start your bird's mouth to catch the wall right there. Because see, the bird's mouth for a, a hip rafter on an outside corner, which is the solid line, the bird's mouth is going to be here. But on a inside corner, on the building line, the bird's mouth is going to be here. This always messes a lot of carpenters up. It's really hard for them to get this concept because nobody's ever sat down and just showed them this. So your bird's mouth is going to be here. So you see how much further this bird's mouth for a valley is away from this bird's mouth for a, uh, a hip is on it. You see that? You see that? It's in two different places. And I noticed w what ends up happening is that these guys try to take this, use this same bird's mouth down here, but they trace the rafter. And guess what? Naturally, their rafter is going to be short. Their rafter is going to be short by this much distance. Whatever the differential between these two is, that's how much shorter their raft is going to be. And they cannot figure it out. You see? But I already know. Now, I'm going to show you some real little technical stuff about this. Because this is like where your hip don't be all high and all this kind of stuff. Or too low and all that. It's going to be really, 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 really exact. So let's do this here. Now I want to show you this, this right here, this principle. We already know that from here to here is 16 inches. So I want to write 16 inches here. We know from here to here is 16 inches. I'm not going to write it because we already know that. Okay. So we got 16 inches from here to here and 16 inches from here to here. Now, we know that this is 16 inches and what we have to do is add this 16 inches to this 11 point four four seven. So let's do that. 16 plus 11 point four four seven. And that equals so from here to here, from the outside of the, the, the fascia, subfascia, all the way to the center of the hip is 27.447. Now, now what we're going to have here, we got that in the computer, in the calculator. Now we know this is 16 inches. What we want to do, since we know from here to here is 16 inches, we want to divide these two measurements combined, which is 27.44. We want to divide it by 16 inches. Maybe I should write that in here. Okay, by 16. So we're going to do that. Divide it by 16 inches equals... And the measurement is 1.715, which is this, basically the same measurement as this right here. 1.714. That's the measurement, all right? Now, what you want to do is you plug this in the computer into the uh, calculator, and you can get the degrees, the angle that this hip is on. And the way you do that is you press the second function, on other cameras, on, on other uh, calculators, it's an inverted. It's called invert. Well, on this one, it's called second, too. But we're just going to deal with this one. The second function, some, some say invert. And what you do is invert that and press tan. And so we know that this is 59... 
3.76 degrees. That's what this is. That's what the angle this this is running on. 59.76 degrees. And all the rafters that are on the 712 side, they're going to have the highest, the sharpest and steepest bevel, which is 59.76. So I'm going to write this here. And this is going to be 59.76. I'm being real exact here, overly to a fault. Okay, so we know that all the rafters, the bevels on this side is going to be 69 point, I mean 59.76 for the 712 side. So what is the bevel going to be for the rafters that run this way or run on this side and sit on this plate? Well, you just minus, like I said, minus 90 degrees equals. You see it's got negative that you just get to get rid of the negative. You just press this button the plus and minus sign and you get 30.23 so we're going to write another one here and you got 30.23 so it's, it's essentially 60 30 all right that's 60 30 and 60 and 30 is 90 you know now now that we got this going here what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're gonna type, we're gonna add these two together. 16 plus 11.447. 16 plus 11.11, I mean 11.447 equals. So we're gonna, we're gonna store this in the calculator. We're gonna store that in the calculator. Then what we do is divide this by 16 okay divided by 16 